Hey there guys, this is Flamzeron, aka YouTube's Tosuke. I've been sitting on this game for really a really long time. I don't even remember if I ever mentioned uh, wanting to do this game or not. I'm sure I did. I remember doing a video about it and saying it was on my Gamefly. I think it was tied into the whole Gamefly thing. <clears throat> but uh, I recently got this game from a place called Second and Charles up in Kennesaw, Georgia. Or so. Yeah, I'm in Georgia, by the way. And, yeah, I remember it being on my Gamefly, and I was, I'm was a fan of the Legacy of Kane games, and so finally bought it, because I found it at a decent price, and gave it a play, and I'm going to give my uh, thoughts on it, on this game called Legacy of Kane Blood Omen 2, if that wasn't clear from the title and the graphic I like to put in the, in the videos. The first thing people most, most people will notice about the uh, uh, Legacy of Kane games is the story presentation and the writing and whatnot. I feel like the writing in this game is decent, but I don't think it's, it's as good as uh, Soul Reaver 2. I feel like that's probably been the best writing. Um, I feel like this one has the best design of Kane. I really like the way he looks. How he still looks kind of young, and he doesn't look as, like, dra dragonic, if that's even a word. Like, he doesn't look like a monster. He still looks kind of like a human monster like vampire thing and he's lost his memories kind of giving me deja vu from memories of Celsetta but uh, and it takes place centuries before uh, when Cain becomes uh, the ruler of Nosgoth and I feel like that's interesting and I think it definitely leaves uh, a lot of room for uh, opportunity if they ever decide to make more games the uh, presentation of this game's story, I like it. You know, Kane is the narrator, like it was in Blood Omen 1, and what they did with Raziel and Sol Reaver. I think they also did it in Defiance, where it was alternated between Kane and Raziel. But, you know, it's decent. The gameplay, at first glance, it kind of reminded me of a of an old PC game, just the way you moved and the way the camera was positioned. I almost felt like I was playing a PC game that had uh, mapped that was mapped to like a PlayStation controller or something. Combat, it's uh, interesting. You know, again, like a PC game, you have like a, a battle phase you have to go into. And you start off with your claws. You don't have the Soul Reaver sword uh, just yet. I, In the footage, I think you'll see me getting a golden ma like mace, spiked mace that I use. And uh, it, combat in this game is pretty fun, and blocking's not really that hard. I feel like it's strategic, yet also f not really that complicated. And it's fun. <clears throat> um, you were a great the story itself, I'm actually kind of interested in. But the what with the, the Seraphan and the... You were struck down. And you know the vampires and Kane and one. I find I find I don't know that much about the story, obviously, because I only played like a, like just a little bit of it. But I'm actually kind of interested in <clears throat> how it uh how everything turns out. Out of all the stories in the Legacy of Kane series, this is one I'm actually relatively interested in. Besides maybe the first one, because the first one, you know, it being the f the first Blood Omen. But voice acting is good and the dialogue is written well. But um, th you got some cool special moves you can do, like you can turn into like an invisible with like mist, and you can decapitate people that way. <coughs> um, the blood sucking, you know, kind of it sort kind of reminds me of Onimusha, but of course it's like other, it's like other um, Legacy of Kane games where you don't actually like bite into people; they just like suck the blood like through like magic or whatever like they're just like taking their hands like <laughs> and they just suck the blood um yeah overall it's I haven't played too much of it so I don't know all the details of the story but so far it's actually pretty uh pretty decent I feel like it's got decent difficulty as well and they let you, they let you choose what kind of guard system you want whether or not you want an assisted guard or you have to or if you want to be have to like time every guard you do and it looks like from what I saw in the back of the box and other screenshots this game looked like it was gonna have some detailed customization going on <coughs> but I find that kind of interesting I I think this is a Honestly, it, I'm actually really interested in this game, you know. 
when I played it a little bit just to make sure the disc work after I bought it, you know, it, I played a little bit of it, but I didn't really, well, I wasn't really that invested into the story, but I actually really enjoy the story. In fact, I might actually play some of it when I get done with everything, who knows. <clears throat> Congestion. But... When you have destroyed yeah, honestly, this is a really good game if you ask me. I don't know, I don't know how what hardcore Legacy of Kane's fans think of it, but personally, I like it. I feel like the battle system is fun to play and really easy to understand. I kind of wish I had a sword instead of a mace, and I'd almost rather just have like just a signature weapon and maybe get like the extra weapons later, as opposed to starting off with extra weapons and then getting the signature weapon later on. That's just me. I know uh, Soul Reaver uh, 1 and 2 did the same thing. I've actually played uh, Soul Reaver 2. I've played all of them, but I I don't own all of them. I need to get uh, Blood... I need to get Soul Reaver 2 for the PS2, and I have Blood Omen on digitally, but I might just buy a physical copy. <coughs> but... Yeah, and Fair graphics. Obviously, this is an older game, so it's Tell not going to look perfect. But I bet if like they did like an HD graphics version of it, it would look really good. I feel like this game is definitely, I mean, so decent. I mean, we battle system. I feel like is it's fun. Like it kind of brings out the uh, kind of dark side of me, and it's weird because I don't think it's intended to be a role-playing game. I feel like this is more of a story-based game, but. It kind of makes me want to play like a vampire RPG or something, like a like a vampire Skyrim or something. And I'm aware of Bloodlust Shadowhunter, but that's a little different. But yeah, it's I'm actually kind of interested. And this game kind of has like sort of like a steampunk sort of look to it a little bit, which is kind of funny considering how in uh, Soul Reaver. One and two and defines it kind of goes back to sort of like a, a dark fantasy kind of thing in my opinion. My body ached. But with this one, it, it just—I mean, obviously it's still fantasy, but it just seemed a little more industrial to me, which I found interesting, especially coming from the standpoint of you know, Kane has been asleep for, I think at this point, four hundred years. Either four hundred or one hundred years, and he's lost his memory, but. It's uh, or he doesn't remember what he was bef uh, what he did before he became a vampire. And I, <clears throat> I don't know why exactly. I guess maybe they probably did that just to kind of add in some newbie centric stuff for those who didn't actually play. It's like, oh well, if you didn't play it, we're not going to spoil anything for you. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested in this game. It's it's cool and. As you'll see in the gameplay footage, if I upload the entire thing, um, I kill some civilians, including one that just won't shut up. It's uh, kind of, yeah, this game definitely brings out a darker side of me, like, quote-unquote, evil Ryan, if you will. The kind, the evil Ryan that likes to pick up people and throw them off cliffs in Dragon's Dogma because that is fun. <clears throat> but, yeah, this game's definitely uh, very, I, I like it, I actually like it a lot. I kind of like it more than the first one, I think. Maybe it's because I feel like this one has a better controls and is just better suited for the platform it's on. I don't know. I, I just think it plays better. Um, and like I said, I like Kane's design. I, I like sort of like the more youthful sort of uh, standard vampire design. Like, you know, the white skin, the white and light hair and the big muscles and... The whole big, but long, bony arms, I'm not too keen on. I don't think that's necessarily a... Uh, maybe bony arms, but not long arms. And even then, like, Kane is a uh, is a vampire with a decent amount of muscle. He's not really... He's not a pushover, so I feel like giving him bony hands may not necessarily be a good idea because it'll make him look awkward. But... You know, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's definitely, definitely, definitely a decent game. I would definitely recommend it if you like uh, the uh, Legacy of Kane series. Now, playing this game made me think about the future. Because I know there's Nosgoth, which I haven't really talked about because I think 
because I'm pretty sure we're under NDA or something, so we can't really talk about it. Plus, I think it's still in beta. It's free to play, so it's not going to last very long, but not the game. I mean, like, the NDA. <clears throat> but I'm more interested in what they could do with the, uh, like, the War of Nazgoth, I think, is interesting, but I kind of want to see more of, like, Kane or Raziel or maybe some other character. I think that uh, that would be an interesting watch or an interesting thing, especially considering that uh, this game, Blood Omen 2, confirms that, you know, Soul Reaver and whatnot are like centuries, centuries ahead. I haven't finished this game, so for all I know, Kane could have gone back to sleep at the end. But, I mean, if, even if that's the case, they could always just wake him back up. So I feel like that there's definitely a lot of potential in this game's... Uh, in this game's... Uh, in, in this series, I mean. In this series' is, uh, longevity. I, I really love to see it continue. And more Blood Omen games, I think. Because I'm kind of... I'm a little more interested in Kane's story a little bit more than I am Raziel. I mean, Raziel, I think, is a cooler-looking character. And, of course, he has an action figure. His name sounds cool. And, you know, Michael Bell. But Kane, I also kind of like. But I know that Raziel is, like, the big one that everyone really likes. <clears throat> but... Yeah, I, I enjoyed this game. I thought it was a, a decent one. I I would definitely recommend it. I know I've said that a million times. I'm kind of repeating myself for a lot of these, but I think it was a decent, decent game. Uh, I don't know. If I don't cover the entire gameplay footage, what I might do is just upload the full thing on... Uh, my second channel or something that might be, yeah I might do that but uh yeah I don't think I, don't, I can't think of anything else to say overall this is a decent game in my opinion and I hope they uh expand more on the Legacy of Kane universe so uh yeah this is Flames Ron aka YouTube Sasuke signing out see you later and try not to get bitten okay bye